Hi, my name is Jennifer Butterworth, and I'm the owner of My Bookkeeper, located in Deerfield Beach, Florida. I have 20 years bookkeeping experience, and I'm an advanced QuickBooks certified pro advisor. I'm also certified in QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions and QuickBooks Point of Sale. This is my very first video, so please bear with me, and I will try to make it as pain-free as possible. Selecting the topic for my first video was the easy part. Creating and editing the video proved to be a bit more challenging and time consuming than I anticipated. I knew I wanted to discuss the importance of bank reconciliations, show you how to reconcile an account in QuickBooks, and then explain the possible causes of discrepancies in your balance and how to fix them. The best practice is to reconcile all your bank accounts, credit card, and loan accounts monthly. I believe that one of the most important functions within QuickBooks is the reconciliation feature. It is a very important part of the accounting process. It helps you identify lost checks, correct duplicate entries, detect fraud or embezzlement, and double check your cash balances. Transposed deposit figures and incorrect check numbers are frequent accounting errors discovered during the bank reconciliation process. Now I'd like to show you what I've done. I have set up sample bank statement on your left and Larry's Landscaping and Garden Supply on your right in the QuickBooks company here. There are several ways you can get to the Begin Reconciliation screen. You can click on Home, which is a navigation window set up for vendors, customers, employees, company, and banking. And it kind of gives you the accounting process, the flow. And here under Banking, you click on reconcile and you have the begin reconciliation window. Another way to get to it is to click on register, select the account that you want, open your register, right click and select reconcile. Brings you to that same begin reconciliation window. Another way, and this is the way that I prefer, and that I've always done it is to go to banking and reconcile. Okay, now that we have the begin reconciliation window open, we're going to begin the reconciliation process. The first thing you want to do is select the account that you want to reconcile. And if you pull the pull down menu, you're going to see all your bank accounts, credit card accounts, and any loan accounts that you have set up. And you should reconcile these every single month when your bank statements come in. Okay, for this purpose, we're going to select Checking Sample Bank. Now, here it shows you the last reconciled statement it was on 2-28-2011, and that's the last statement that we reconciled. Now, this statement is 3-31-2011, and QuickBooks is saying that's the one you should be reconciling now, so that's correct. This is saying the beginning balance should be $20,174.83, and that matches. That is correct. You want to make sure that always matches before you begin. Now, the new balance of this statement is what you want to enter here for the beginning balance. So let's enter that. Okay. Now, on this statement, we don't have any service charges or interest earned, but if you did, you would enter it here, and it would post to your register. You would enter a transaction there, and it would post to the correct account, bank service charges and interest in income. Now we're going to continue. Now, this is just giving me a warning that I have transact the, the transactions I'm trying to post are beyond 90 days and this is because I have a sample company that I've created and there's a lot of transactions that are in here for 2015. Um, I'm just ignoring this so I'm just going to say yes. Okay, now we're going to start to match all of the checks and payments and deposits and other credits that are in our register, that's everything here, to what is on our bank statement, what has cleared the bank. So the first thing we're going to check is the checks here. Check number 2037, and if you come over here to the checks and payment side, we have 2037. You always want to make sure that the check number matches. 
This is 139. You get, look at the dollar amount also and make sure it matches to the penny. Okay. We're going to go to the next thing, which is Office Depot, 7496. Then we have Discover e payment, 582.78. We have Verizon Wireless, 125.47. Okay, now it looks all for here because this one we have already done. Okay, then we're going to go to the deposit side and we have 350. Okay, and then 180. Okay. Now you have the options down here to mark all and unmark all. You generally don't want to use these because as you see these items in April have not cleared. So you don't want to mark all because it would have selected these items. Now if you look down at the bottom the difference is zero. We have balanced to the penny. Okay. Now if if we didn't balance, let's check this off. If we didn't balance, there would be a difference here. And then you'd have to find out why we didn't balance. Now, there are many reasons why, why you might not balance. And one of them is if your beginning balance is off, there could be many reasons why the beginning balance is off. If there was, some, if there was a transaction that was changed, to a prior month that was already reconciled, um, like a changed amount in a check or a deposit, or if a transaction was changed, the actual account was changed, or if a, a transaction was actually deleted, or the cleared status was changed. If any of those things happened, what you would do is go to modify and then locate discrepancies go to discrepancy report and those items would be listed here on this report and then you would just make those changes or corrections and then see if that fixes fixes the difference another thing is if your ending balance is off the ending balance is what you enter or your client enters here from the bank statement so if that is incorrect, you go to modify and then you enter the correct ending balance from your bank statement. Okay. Another thing it could be is if you entered an incorrect amount in either a deposit or a payment. Now if you entered an incorrect amount in your register you can always change it say this was 13901 on your bank statement you would just simply double click and change it okay now we know that it it did clear as 139 so we're going to double click on it and and change it back so that it so that we do balance okay okay now that let's check that off now that we have reconciled okay why do I have a difference now oops I checked that off okay now that we have reconciled actually let me show you one other thing here down here where it says total uh, the deposits and other credits if you have a difference down here you can look at the deposits and other credits 531 and if you look at the on the bank statement most bank statements have this it'll show you the 531 make sure these match if you're off here at least you can see if you're off in the deposits or you're off in the payments we balance so it matches but if you were off in one of these, then you, at least you know where to look. So it gives you a clue into that. Now that we balance, let's go ahead and reconcile now. And then you can print your reports. Now if you're in a paperless environment, you can go ahead and print to Adobe. 
or another or another program you may have or you can just print print to whatever printer that you have and I know a lot of clients like to print a copy and staple it to their bank statement and that is how you reconcile an account in QuickBooks So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Look for more QuickBooks tutorials from my bookkeeper in the near future. Call my bookkeeper today toll free at 877-278-5593 for your complimentary one hour initial no obligation consultation. I also invite you to visit our website at www.hiremybookkeeper.com where you'll find more QuickBooks tips, news and alerts the QuickBooks Client Newsletter, and much more. Thank you.